Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you do not want your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC to automatically lock, then just a video to show you a couple of settings you can change to prevent your device from locking itself. Now, this can be useful if you are maybe using your PC as a presentation tool or if uh, it's in a situation where it requires to be on all the time um, or maybe you are doing a download and you don't want to interrupt a big download or a lot of downloads. So you get the idea. There are a couple of situations where preventing a PC from locking itself could be handy. Now, you can follow the steps in this video on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. The terminology is very similar, although we're dealing with two different operating systems. Now, the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure that dynamic lock is turned off. And dynamic lock is a feature in both OSs that basically allows um, you to lock your PC when you have a device paired um, using Bluetooth. So when your device, as an example, your phone goes out of range, dyna dynamic lock picks us up and then it locks itself. So to do this, and as mentioned, you can follow the steps for this in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. We head to our settings, head over to your accounts, and on the accounts page, head to sign in options. And for Windows 10, this will be here on this page to the left hand side. And yeah, you're going to look for a feature called dynamic lock. And allows Windows to automatically lock your device when you're away. Make sure this is turned off, okay? Just uncheck it if it's uh, toggled on. As far as I am aware, this is turned off by default, but it's a good starting point. Just make sure that's toggled off. Now, while we are in this page, uh, sign in options, the next thing you want to do is you want to change this, a sign in option, which ensures you aren't asked to log into your account again, okay? which can prevent the, um, the device from locking itself. So here you'll see on Windows 11, just above dynamic lock, if you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in again? Make sure this is set to never. And obviously, as a safety precaution, you may want to enter your PIN code if you have that set up or your password, depending. Um, obviously what um, security you have regarding your device. Now for Windows 10, the only difference with this setting is it's called require sign-in. It's also found just above dynamic lock, but it says require sign-in. If you've been away, when should Windows require you to sign in again? Um, and the difference there is when PC wakes up from sleep or never. Okay, so that's the only difference with this setting. Um, over on Windows 10. Now the next thing you want to do is Windows gives the option to display the lock screen when the screensaver is deactivated. So you can also turn this feature off to prevent the PC from locking itself. Now for this one we want to head over to our personalization page, head to lock screen and for Windows 10 lock screen will be here to the left on this page. and. Right at the bottom, you'll see screensaver. Toggle that on. And yeah, you'll see on resume, display log on screen. Make sure that is turned off. And then the last thing you want to do, and the easiest for this, because we are dealing now with Windows 10 and Windows 11, the easiest would be to head to the legacy control panel. And uh, we can use the option to never put your PC to sleep, okay? So for this, if you don't know where control panel is, just do a search for control panel. I have it pinned to my start. And if you have your view bar in category, I would just suggest popping it onto large icons for the purpose of this exercise. And then here we're going to head over to power options. And then you would head to your plan that is activated. Click on change plan settings and here you'll see put the computer to sleep on battery or plugged in. Um, you can change both of these to never. 
and you save changes and there we go. So that's just a couple of ways you can prevent and stop your computer from locking itself if you need it to be turned on for whatever reason without obviously going to sleep or locking up and um, just putting it out there in case you may find this useful. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.